What's good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Justin Daisy here with the J Daisy Gaming Channel here on Sunday News Program on 7 10 of 2016. Uh, we got a fairly light load this week for Sunday News. Not too much happened this week. A few good things, um, but not too much. And the personal power up minute of the day is a very light one. Um, so this should be a pretty quick uh, episode, and we'll just jump right into it. This week it was announced by Rockstar that uh, Red Dead Redemption will be getting backwards compatibility so you'll be able to play it on Xbox One, um, which prompted sales on Amazon to go up by over 6,000% as estimated um, sales of Red Dead Redemption, which is amazing because if you don't know, Red Dead Redemption is my all-time favorite game of ever. Um, I don't own an Xbox One, so it's kind of a bummer for me. I'm still holding out that they'll bring it to PC, damn it. And hopefully this will be the initial step um, that eventually they'll bring it to like, the Windows Store or something. But that hasn't been confirmed. Um, July 8th is the date I have written down for when it'll be fully released. But I think it might have already been released. Yeah, it's it's July 9th, duh. Or it's July 9th on recording this. It's July 10th you're seeing it. So it's already out and people are able to play it. Um, I didn't look to see what the price was because obviously I can't play it, but it, it, you know if it's full price, that's kind of shocking. Um, I should have done more research. I apologize. Um, this week, Fallout 4 got a new update that Codsworth, the uh, mechanical robot at the very beginning, has over 300 new names. Um, that was a big thing they were promoting at the beginning uh, for like the E3 trailer and whatnot when they announced Fallout 4 was that Codsworth can say your name in game or that your name can be in game when it's literally one scene. I never had any of my names be picked up, but they had some funny ones, uh, but I never had that. Um, it was also announced by Bethesda this week that uh, uh, Nuke World will be the last of the DLC. Um, we haven't got that yet. That's ways out. I, um, so that's a uh, will be a ways out, but it will be the last DLC. Um, but that's all right. Uh, we still have. I don't think the third. We just got the second wave. The first one contraptions, but we haven't got the next one. Um, so that's a ways out. But yeah, that'll be its last DLC. They said they'll be they'll be uh, completely done. Um, a game I've been really excited for, uh, No Man's Sky got went golden this week. That means that they're completely finished with it. Um, there's no more going to be added to the code. Sean Murray, the developer, posted a picture saying that they are done. Um, it is golden, which means that they just can't add it. The way it, it, the game is is it's one really long source code, so they can't add any more to it without corrupting the game. So that means that it's fully developed. We had to do like a three-month waiting period or like backup period um, for the, this point, but that's fine. I can't Personally, I can't wait for the uh, game to come out. That will probably be the next series here on the channel gonna try and finish up Witcher here soon about 30 episodes in on it um, loving it it's just taking forever but I love it I love it so much so yeah that's exciting news um, Pokemon Go is out and man is it taking the at least the US here in Storm um, I played it uh, I got a Squirtle and like a Staryu and a Drowser nothing really spectacular I'm only like level 4 but like there's two reports I keep hearing all the time either A this game is great. It's getting me out. It's getting me active. I love it so much. I'm seeing people just like me out here. This game is great. It's revolutionary. Or I see stories like the girl that found a dead body playing Pokemon Go. Or the guy that got mugged, his phone stolen for playing Pokemon Go. So just be careful. Guy, you know, look up from the phone. You don't have to be staring at it the whole time. Don't go where you're unfamiliar. I went around last night, drove around, went to different parks and stuff and played it. I didn't go out of my comfort zone, though, and I definitely didn't feel like I was going to get mugged or find a dead body. But I don't think you ever feel like you're going to find a dead body other than when, you know, you're in a parking garage late at night because parking garages are evil. Um, And for the personal power of minute, I really don't have anything. Um, I was going to try and touch on that whole CSGO cheater thing that's going on. Um, if you don't know, in CSGO, you can buy or you get different thing like weapon skins and stuff in the game that are worth a certain x amount of real world money and you can bet that um and i haven't really been i didn't play csgo that much i played like one round so i don't know all the inner working mechanics to be truthful but from what i understand a couple influential youtubers um were using excuse me off-site sites for betting purposes and through 
some very cheeky ways were making money off these betting sites and they didn't disclose to their audience that they had um what's the word uh shares in that betting site so if you went to that betting site lost all your money they were making money um but these from what i've understand these are very powerful youtubers these are people with millions of viewers subscribers to their name so these aren't low level people like me with like 63 these are big name people um and why you would jeopardize your career is just beyond me um you know i'm trying to get into this game and it's so difficult um but i don't know why you just jeopardize all that so i guess the, the, the personal power up menu is just be honest I mean, if you are somebody out there that has a channel, just be honest with everything. I mean, I haven't got a um, subscription deal or a sponsored video or anything crazy like that. But, like, just, you know, if you do, just, hey, I got the publisher sent me this vid this game. I'm going to try it out. But my opinion is my opinion. Or if you're being paid to say something good about it, that's fine, too. Everyone's got to pay them bills, make that money. So, you know, that's my take on the whole situation. I... All I know is that the guys gave us an apology, but from what I saw, it was very insincere. Um, but maybe they were sincere. I can't be the judge. You can only judge that. Um, but yeah, guys, that's all I have for this week. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the box. Um, or hit me up on any of my social medias. And as always, have a great one.